click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello guys, here we are coming for this particular video with a design of Van Bridge Oscillator. So let's come to the particular question what they have asked us to set that particular frequency. Let's start the numerical. In this particular numerical, they just have asked us to design when bridge oscillator to set frequency of oscillation of 2 kilohertz. So, as they have mentioned 2 kilohertz, even they uh, can say that ki design the frequency, design the oscillator with the frequency of 2 kilohertz. So, you have to mention that ki if 2 kilohertz is there, it's nothing but the less than 10 kilohertz. So, either you have to use RC phase shift oscillator or Van Bridge oscillator or 20 oscillator. So, it's a very simple to design the Van Bridge oscillator rather than RC phase shift oscillator. So, what we will be dealing uh, when bridge oscillator mujhe find out ka, mujhe form karna hai. So basically they can be of three types. One is FET, one is op-amp, one with uh, BJT. BJT and FET ke saath maine RC phase shift form kiya tha. Now we will be uh, dealing with the op-amp, right? So we will draw the circuit first. This is when bridge oscillator circuit diagram. So this is circuit diagram in the caption. Now our job is to set given is F0 is equal to 2 kilohertz, right? What we'll have to say that assume C is equal to 0 0.1 microfarad. As we all know that C is equal to 0.1 microfarad once I set then it's now very very easy to determine the value of R because by using formula F0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi R C R is equal to 1 upon 2 pi F0 into C what is the value of r r is equal to 1 upon 2 pi into f0 is equal to 2k and the value of capacitor is 0 0.1 microfarad so we can easily determine what will be the value of r the value will be getting 795.77 so r is nothing but 795.77 ohm that we are getting right and we will set this as a st with standard value why i am forming a st standard value this is because 795.77 ka uh, resistance market may available nahi hoga so for that we have to move for the uh, alternative resistance so what we will be dealing let's have the value of 820 ohm okay so we'll be having the resistance of 820 ohm as a standard resistance and we can say that here we'll be getting near about the 2 kilohertz frequency right this is the all about the resistance part now we have to determine what will be the value of rf and r1 okay so resistance and capacitor to hoge right we have to find out what will be the value of rf what will be the value of r one right as from gain criteria b is equal to one upon three so i can say a is equal to three if a is equal to three i can say that this is the non-inverting amplifier right so we'll say for non-inverting amplifier For non inverting amplifier, we will be getting A is equal to 1 plus RF upon R1. Okay, now one value I have to choose of our own. So we will say that A is equal to 3. So automatically RF 
is equal to twice of r1 that i am getting okay so we'll set that let r1 is equal to 1 kilo ohm right then automatically rf will have to set at 2 kilo ohm that is a twice value so here we have got that particular value of r1 and rf and now we are in the position to draw that particular circuit with the calculated value so we can say that this is particularly op amp right and here we are getting the value of c and r same as that of calculated value this is your value of r feedback resistance resistance r1 connected with the ground and inverting terminal can say this is cc i will say that it's nothing but 0 0.1 microfarad this is also 0 0.1 microfarad this is uh, 820 ohm this is also 820 ohm this rf is of 2 kilo ohm and this r1 is of 1 kilo ohm right and here we'll be getting the value of vo which gives you the sustained oscillation of value 2 kilohertz okay so obviously we have to mention that it's nothing but the ground connection so this is how we have formed the when bridge oscillator in a very simple manner just having the mathematical aspect and the formula based design so thank you so much for watching this particular video we will learn more oscillatory numericals so stay tuned for that thank you so much